Well, 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 Wolves fans, uh, Gary O'Neill, our head coach, was on uh, Sky Sports Monday Night Football uh, last night, and how interesting was it? I managed to watch the whole thing, um, you know, obviously not all the match, but the stuff with uh, Gary O'Neill where he talked about Wolves, he talked about the master plan and the tactics behind the victory over uh, Bournemouth, he talked about himself as a player, he talked about his management style and he even talked about how we beat uh, Manchester City. I mean, what a difference um, two or three weeks can be. So many people, um, only just two or three weeks ago, were basically referring to Gary O'Neill as a PE teacher. He knows nothing about football. You know, he's the cheap option. You know, he's usually get get rid of him, sack him now, all of that. And the, through the whole time, I've said, look, you know, I can get what what people were frustrated. Boy, I got frustrated uh, in the game against uh, Twitch, you know, with what happened there. I was worried about the fact that we were capitulating a lot. Um, and then we've had the result against Manchester City, the good result against a very, very good Villa team, which we could have won, um, probably should have won with the chance uh, that we had to win it. And then obviously the weekend against Bournemouth coming from behind where I was there again and we looked in complete control for most of the game and we did win and I think we'd have won even with the 11 versus 11. Um, but then you add in that Gary O'Neill went on to Sky Sports Monday Night Football and it was such, such, if you've not watched it, you, you need to watch It was so insightful. It was so interesting. Um, you know, he has this you know perception out there of being a bit bland um a bit beige shall we say and he was so engaging on that program and so intelligent how he was talking through um the tactics and like the first bit when he was talking through the tactics against Bournemouth they actually did some training ground footage where he highlighted what they were doing and then switched to some footage from uh, the game against Bournemouth and showed you the training game footage, the players are actually putting it into uh, to place, which was really, really interesting. And, um, you know, Gary O'Neill has basically um, said that he looks at every uh, team that he plays on where he wants to be and how he wants to play, and then adjusts things down um, to each team to try and get close to where he wants us to be, um, but also taking into account um, the way uh, the opposition play. He also said that Bournemouth changed, uh, surprised them a little bit because they didn't play out like how they ex they expected, but the game plan worked in the end. And it was really interesting that he talked through again uh, the Man City stuff. So um, yeah, he's talked a lot about the group, about Wolves, about you know he was there four days before the start of the season that when he came in he decided that straight away he's going to do things uh, his way. He talked about the players, how they're buying into it, and. If he speaks like he spoke on Sky Sports with the intelligence um, and the personality uh, that's when he speaks in training, you can understand why the likes of Kuna and Pedro Neto and people like that have been coming out and saying really, really positive things. Um, so it's really insightful. Um, get on to the Sky Sports socials or the Sky Sports uh, YouTube channel if you can and check that out because you know so many people have kind of like done a bit of an about turn really from where they were three weeks ago to where they are now and how the, the understanding of Gary O'Neill and what uh, Matt Hobbs and the recruitment team saw in, saw it in him you can kind of see it now I will temper this by saying of course it is early days I said when people were, you know, saying he needs to go now, we need to sack him, get rid of him, all of this. I was saying at the time, they're not going to sack him. He's like, at next to no pre-season, he's still learning his players. Um, and, you know, we've got to obviously try and stay patient. But when you don't get results, the pressure does mount. He's got the results. He's made some tweaks and changes. We look a lot more solid. Um, and, you know, things are a lot better. And we're in a really good place 12th place, in fact, with 11 points after 9 games and 7 out of the last 3. But equally, you have to temper that with saying, you know, as much as like people were like really 
you know, a lot of people were quite very vitriolically need to get rid of him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Equally, after a good set of results, you've got to temper that by saying, let's not get carried away. This is still very early days for Gary. He's still learning about his squad. He's still developing his ideas. We've got to uh, understand that Gary's management and coaching style and the way he is quite studious, but um, he will adapt. And that's something he will adapt. He did say he respects uh, some teams that just play in a certain way and that's how they play. His sort of teams, he will adapt for the opposition. And if he adapts for the opposition and we get the results, you can't argue with it, really. You just go, fair enough. Um, and, you know, I'm really interested, if you saw that last night, what you think about it. How your opinion is changing from Gary O'Neill. Because, like, if you look at all the press stuff that was out there, they're raving about it um, and how good he was. And to be fair, he, he, he did come across really, really well and it was incredibly insightful. Not only from a neutral uh, who would be watching that, you know, and seeing that, the tactics of and how training goes and how it's implemented again, but from a Wolves fan point of view, an insight into the man himself, into what drives him, into how he's got to where he is, how he thinks, what his personality is like, because we don't see that in the interviews. He's always very kind of maybe bland or, or beige, um, you know, but... And he's like he talks about he doesn't celebrate goals too much because the, if the, someone else scores afterwards. But like he, he does celebrate some. And when he came over to the Wolves fans after the um, at the end of the Bournemouth game, you could see what it meant to him. As much as he said, yeah, yeah, it's just another game. They sacked him. Um, look where they are now. No points. New manager in the bottom three. Wolves are 12th. And if we can get a result against Newcastle at the weekend, which is going to be a tough ask because Newcastle are a very good side. Well, that will be uh, fantastic. And, you know, we can start thinking more positively about Wolves not being in a relegation battle, but actually, you know, looking to secure a mid-table finish or even higher. Early days, as I say, we have to temper it because results can change. And he said there will be bumps under the way, on the way. But I just thought I'd give you my take on that. It sounded really, really positive. Uh, I was incredibly impressed uh, by how he came across. And, um, you know, let's hope um, that he is the guy and he is this English super manager. And we're very lucky. And it turns out how lucky we are to have him. Time, of course, will tell. Leave your thoughts on the comment section below on where you're at with Gary O'Neill now, after last night and after nine games at the start of the Premier League season. Until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave. Always works.